Hey guys, Scott Steele here again today. I am touring a home with a client, but I'm also here to share this video with you. This is a 6,000 square foot custom built luxury home in Cottonwood Heights, Utah. It has six bedrooms and six bathrooms. Now this home is a really beautiful mountain modern rambler built really close to the Wasatch Mountains here in Salt Lake City. And I wanted to share this home with you today because it did have so many great features and finishes that I wanted to share. I hope you enjoy the tour. Now, before we do this tour today, I wanna to give a special thanks to the listing agent, Christy Blasingham with Equity Real Estate. She's the listing agent on this property. And thanks to her, I have the opportunity to come and check out this beautiful home today. I hope you enjoy the tour. Let's go check it out. Now, the first thing you notice when you walk in is this really nice entry space with a large chandelier up above and a really nice open area as an entryway. And right off to the right, we have French doors leading into an office. This office is pretty deep and actually could be considered a bedroom because it does have a walk-in closet over here. And it also has its own ensuite bathroom. Now, as we go throughout the house, we'll notice that every single bathroom has these lights built into the mirrors. These are really cool. You can adjust the temperature of the light. You can also adjust the brightness and they're pretty cool. And also right off this entryway, we have the powder bath. Now this powder bath has cabinets similar to the rest of the home, but it also has this very tall elongated mirror with the built-in light. Now moving on, we enter the area where the staircase is, as well as the great room. You'll notice that the great room has very tall ceilings with lights up above that open up into the kitchen and the dining space. Now this fireplace is really nice. It's a really big fireplace. It's six feet wide. It has a white oak mantel shelf up above and a split face stone going floor to ceiling. The thing that I love throughout this house is how big and wide and open everything is. There's a massive amount of space between the kitchen island and the family room furniture. And then in addition to that, we have the dining space over here. Everything is really big, wide and open. This is a perfect home if you like to have a lot of space. Okay, so now let's talk about this kitchen. It is absolutely amazing. It has a massive island. I, my guess is that this island is about 12 feet wide, has a sink right in the middle. We've got five bar stools here, and it has a huge vented hood that goes all the way up to the ceiling right in the middle. Now this wall over here has tons of cabinetry and pantry space, as well as the built-in refrigerator. Now these built-in paneled refrigerators are all the rage, especially in homes north of 1.5 or $2 million like this one. And of course, right here, we have double wolf ovens built in as well. The floors are an engineered white oak. They're a really light color. It really contrasts really nicely against the darker elements like the cabinetry, but it also really helps this house remain bright with all the natural light and the white paint. It's modern and it's fresh. And the highlight of this kitchen is this six burner gas cooktop with a pot filler up above and of course, a vented hood. Now, moving on from the kitchen and dining space, we have this nice little nook here. It's a little desk. And off to the right, we'll look at this here in just a moment, but this leads over to the master bedroom. But my favorite thing is right behind the main kitchen, we have another space back here with tons of extra cabinetry, as well as an extra sink, along with another location for a full-size refrigerator, and of course, tons of extra space and counter space. We also have an additional dishwasher right here. These dishwashers are really cool because the handles are recessed into the front panel. Now my favorite part about a kitchen setup like this is for entertaining. You keep your mess all back here while you have the other space out in the main kitchen, the dining space and the family room for guests. Now as we come back here, there are two garage entrances into the house. And over here we have a nice laundry room. There's space for cabinetry in here. There's a sink. There's cabinetry up above where the future washer and dryer will be right here. But as you'll see, this door here leads to the garage. This is the single car garage. that's a little bit wider over here. 
But as you can see, this single car garage gets really wide back here and it connects with the other portion of the garage, which is a nice two car garage as well. So this garage has tons of space. Okay, so now it's time to go check out the primary bedroom and bathroom. This bedroom is awesome because it has five windows allowing natural light to flood into this space, as well as these double doors leading into the bedroom. Now, right off this bedroom, you'll find the primary ensuite bathroom. And just like the other bathrooms in this house, you'll notice similar cabinetry, but of course these incredibly large elongated mirrors with the built-in lights. Now the coolest part about these mirrors is it has the controls built into the mirror itself right here. You can adjust the temperature of the light as well as the brightness. And this beautiful freestanding tub really sits perfectly in this huge open space. But my favorite part about this tub is the plumbing fixture itself. It has a detachable wand that you can use in the tub, but also to help clean it as well. And of course, no primary bedroom in a house of this caliber would be fit to have anything less than a huge walk-in closet. Okay, so this is a Rambler. We've seen the entire main floor. Let's go check out the basement. To start off, we have this nice white oak railing with square posts and black iron balusters, and a nice chandelier up above. Now the basement is not staged with furniture, but it is absolutely massive. As soon as you enter the basement, you see huge open spaces with a big, massive kitchenette. Now this is a kitchenette and not a full kitchen because you can't cook down here. There's not a range or a cooktop, but it is absolutely massive. This space has plenty of room for game tables, for seating, for entertaining, for whatever you would want to do down here. And of course, just like the upstairs, we have a matching fireplace down here with a six foot fireplace, a beautiful white oak mantel shelf, and the same split face stone going floor to ceiling. Now right off of this kitchenette in this family room, we have a massive bedroom. This bedroom is just as big as the master bedroom upstairs and it too has an ensuite bathroom and walk-in closet. So this basement is perfect for a multi-generational family setup. It also has the same vanity and mirror setup as the rest of the bathrooms and a nice big walk-in closet just behind it. Now moving on to this area of the basement, we have a couple more bedrooms. This one here has its own walk-in closet as well. And just outside of these two bedrooms, we have a bathroom with the same cabinetry, countertops, and of course that same mirror that we saw elsewhere in the house. And off to this side, we have another laundry room down here in the basement. And inside of this laundry room, you'll notice there's space for both an electric and a gas dryer, a small countertop, plenty of cabinetry for storage, but it also has this massive safe door leading into a cold storage area under the front porch. So basically you have a concrete vault with a safe door that you could keep anything safe in here that you could ever imagine. Now the last bedroom is right off of this laundry room over here. It has three windows and it also has its own walk-in closet and of course its own bathroom. So I really hope you've enjoyed the tour today. And as always, it is my number one goal to bring you the very best home tours possible. So if you enjoy this type of content, please hit that subscribe button down below so that you can catch all the future videos that I'm putting out. I'm putting out videos just like this every single week that you won't wanna miss. Also, if you're considering buying, selling, or investing in real estate, I would love to be your real estate resource of choice. So email me at scott at motiverealestate.com. That's motive without the E. And until the next video, thanks guys.